Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Pat with the Beard Channel again. I'm just arriving at my first stop. I'm a driver during the daytime, guys. So, you know, uh, just want to let y'all know. Um, just thinking about this one tip, man, that'll help you guys to grow your beard the fastest. One tip, just one. And uh, it took me a long time to realize this. I wish I knew this in the beginning, but um, one thing that I wouldn't, I, I would do is I'll make sure that I comb my beard daily. And when I say that, I mean, I'll probably comb my beard um, maybe once or twice a day. And when I mean that, I don't mean like, uh, maybe like with an Afro pick or, or um, what I use is, um, I have an African wooden pick and I like that the most. It's, uh, it's It looks like this, wooden. You know, it's missing a tooth on it over here at the end, but and I love it. It's, uh, you notice it's not real. The teeth aren't really, really close together and stuff like that. And so, um, and the reason why I say this number tip, this number one tip is the strongest thing that you can do for your beard. Number one tip is to comb your beard, you know, at least once a day. Um, you may ask, when should I do this? Number one, never comb, pick your hair, rake through your hair. When your hair has not been moisturized and does not have a product in it, I would never do that. It's damaging. It's like, um, it's like, uh, it's like running your hands down a tree branch at, in, uh, uh, in the middle of the month of November when it's about to be winter time and all the leaves are going to fall off and the leaves are hard, you know? If you run your hand down a branch, a tree branch, and all the leaves are brown, which means they're about to fall off, then they're definitely going to fall off. But one of the things about hair is not like unlike leaves is that hair is repairable. You know, you can reseal a broken end and all that kind of stuff. But what I will say is that if an end like breaks or an end splits on your hair, like splits, like one hair just goes like this at the, at the very end of it, it can actually be sealed back together with oils and stuff and grow back together and stuff. And that's why I say don't pick your hair when it's dry because you're more prone to split your ends. You're also more prone to break a hair off as well. But what I will say is that um, hairs tend to tangle at the ends as well. So if you don't pick your hair regularly, then one thing that ends up happening is you have like a gamut, a whole cluster of hairs that are tangled. And then you comb or pick through it. And you pull them all out. And the reason why you pull them all out is because the hair is not used to being next to each other, but not touching and hugging and, you know, becoming intertwined and all that. But if you pick your hair at least once a day with product in it, you know, not raking through, you know, I just kind of, you know, do something like that, you know. And it's fine. It doesn't need to be, uh, you don't need to be, ah, 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 uh, you know, you don't need to be doing all that. It's not a fight. It's not a war. It's not a battle. It's, it's, uh, you know, think about it like your girlfriend or your, if you got a baby girl or a baby boy and you rock them, you know, you rock them to sleep, you know, you don't, you don't shake them to sleep or shake them till they fall. You know what I'm saying? Like that don't work, you know? So that's my number one tip. And, and um, so I give the tip from the theoretical perspective as far as, uh, you know, examples and metaphors, you know, the leaf to the tree branch and all that stuff. But my actual personal experience would be when I actually was probably about, you know, seven, eight, seven, eight to seven months to a year in on my beard. Like I would definitely notice how. Actually, it's not notice how. I just, I, I personally would not comb my beard. I wouldn't do that. All I did was brush it. Never comb, never pick, because I felt like my beard was thicker when I was just picking it. I mean, when I was just brushing it and not like combing through it, I felt like my beard was thicker. But, you know, it took me at the end of the year line to realize, yo, your beard would have been longer if you had been detangling on a regular basis. An unpicked, uncombed beard typically gets tangled if you have curly hair. Now, if you got a stringy beard and it just falls straight down, then this might not apply to you. But mine curls. So with that being said, 
I comb mine on a daily basis, pick mine on a daily basis, and it keeps me untangled. And I think it's a number one tip for growth. You definitely can't grow quick if you're constantly tangled and you're constantly uh, breaking. So part of a number one growth tip would also be a growth retention tip. Meaning, you know, just like examples in school, man, you know, kids drop out of school and stuff like that. Not only can the school system be great if we allow students and foster them in a direction to get some great grades, but we'll also have a greater school system if we keep more kids in school, right? If you're trying to build a musical band, and one of the good things about building a great band or one success tip that you could say is the number one success tip in building a great musical band is not only get great musicians, but keep the great musicians you already have, right? So... Keep the hairs you have in your beard. Comb it, pick it. While it's after you've gotten out the shower and you put on your shea butter, after you've you know black soaked your beard in the shower, you put your conditioner in, got a leave-in conditioner in there, and then you seal the moisture in with your shea butter. And for me, you know, mine gets I, I like mine in there real thick. I put a lot of shea butter in my beard so that it lasts the whole spectrum of the day and it holds all the leave-in conditioner in my beard until I want to until I get home at, from uh, from work and I wash it after I wash it uh, I just put like conditioner and I do every, I do the same routine but I do it lightly after I do that lightly then I actually do the full-on gamut of routine you know when I'm getting ready to go to work so you know just so you guys know man any questions like share subscribe please let's grow the channel i think we're 192 subscribers right now could you imagine if it was 192,000? how many different conversations and how many different things would be happening if it was 192,000 people that were subscribed to this channel i would literally quit my job and just give y'all beard information all day i'd probably film like 10 20 videos a day Maybe I need to start acting like that. If I carry myself the way I want this channel to be, then perhaps the channel will be that fashion. So, and that's funny, man, because my, my girl's cousin, he actually said that to me. He said, be, and it already is. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start being, you guys. And today, I want you guys to start being anyway. Anything it is you want to do, just be it. <laughs> Love y'all, man. Peace.